Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. Today is October 23, 2016. The electric vehicle revolution is at a tipping point. German legislators have voted for a resolution to ban the internal combustion engine, or ICE, by 2030. This would be a significant change, considering that Germany, home of BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Volkswagen, had 44 million registered cars in 2013. Although not expected to be a law in 12 months, this discussion increases pressure on the car industry. Not only would switching to zero emission vehicles substantially decrease CO2 emissions, but it would also decrease health risks from diesel fumes and reduce noise pollution. This echoes similar proposals in Norway, the Netherlands, and India. Manasa Mendu, a 13-year-old from Ohio, has discovered a way to make clean energy using a $5 device. She won the grand prize in the Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge for her work in creating a cost-effective solar leaf design to create wind and solar energy. Mendu was inspired to invent this cheaper alternative to produce energy after visiting India, where she saw the lack of access to affordable clean water and electricity. Based on how plants function, the device's leaves can pick up energy from precipitation, wind, and even the sun using a solar cell and piezoelectric material which is then converted into usable energy. A fleet of robots descends more than a mile into the depths of the oceans to measure their heat content, revolutionizing scientists' ability to study how climate change is affecting the seas. Called Argo floats, these aquatic machines were first deployed into the ocean in 2000 and are now going into the deepest ocean abyss. At about 55 pounds and 6.5 and feet tall, each battery-powered robot takes about 200 pressure, temperature, and salinity measurements as it journeys through the ocean, up and down in 10-day intervals. A report released last month at the IUCN World Conservation Congress concluded that oceans have taken up 93% of the warming created by humans since the 1970s. In other words, if the heat generated between 1955 and 2010 had gone into the Earth's atmosphere instead of the oceans, temperatures would have jumped by nearly 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Global wine production is expected to fall by 5% this year due to climate change, causing a significant decrease in production in most of the southern hemisphere, particularly Chile and Argentina. A report by the Earth Institute at Columbia University said that scientists have found that each degree centigrade of warming pushes grape harvest forward roughly six or seven days. Regions like Alsace are expected to get warmer and experience shorter growth seasons, while places like the Italian region of Chianti have seen grapes ripening too early, leading to possible future changes in wine varieties. Although the amount of wine produced should meet consumer demand, this is a reminder of the profound effect global warming has on wine, and perhaps where it will be grown in the future. One of the world's big sources of agricultural waste powers this man's cook stoves. Alexis Bellonio, a Philippine space inventor and engineer, has developed an innovative, clean-burning cooking stove fueled by rice husks, which are inedible and normally dumped or burned after rice is milled. The stove is powered by a small base fan that drives air through the husks, converting them into a gaseous blend of methane, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. A metal tube pushes the mixture to a top burner that produces a hot blue flame, similar to natural gas. According to Bolonio, a pound of rice husks generates about 20 minutes of cooking time, and the greenhouse emissions are about half those of fossil fuel stoves. He'd like to see rice husks power used widely in heating systems, agricultural equipment, and other devices in rural areas without access to electricity. Thank you for watching. See you next week.